Welcome! This video is part of my Godot beginner course, which is available on Udemy. In that course, I take you from absolute beginner to an intermediate user of Godot. So if you're interested in learning game development and learning more about Godot, make sure to check it out. There's a link in the description. Welcome! In this lecture, I'm going to show you some of the useful settings I use in Godot. Now, this lecture might feel a bit advanced, even though it's almost at the beginning of the course. You might not fully understand why we need some of these settings and why might they be useful. You might not even have Godot installed yet. In that case, feel free to skip along and come back to this lecture after a couple of sections. Now, that being said, let's get started. We're going to go to Editor, the Editor menu, and Editor Settings. And in here, we have a ton of different settings that we can configure to make our editor unique to us. We're going to start with the editor tab under interface. And the first and the only setting I have here that I changed is the hide console window one. So if this is turned off, when you open up Godot, let's open up a new project manager, you will get a console window which I never use, so I don't want it to be there. So if this hide console window setting is on, now if I create a project manager, I don't get the console window, which is what I want. Okay, let's move on to theme. From here, you can pick a different color theme for your editor. By default, the preset is this bluish color theme, but you can change it to some of the, the built-in ones that Godot comes with. Or you can pick custom and design your own theme. We're going to use the default one for this course because I don't want my editor to, to look too different from what you guys have. But yeah, you can change it from here. And you have some other options as well to customize your theme. Let's move on to the scene tabs part. To demonstrate this, I'm going to open up a couple of scenes here. This is a project from a later section of the course, which you're going to learn. So don't worry about these scenes I have here. So I have a couple of scenes here. And inside of the settings, as you can see, I have the show script button and always show close button on. And these make sure that I have these, I have the script icon next to the, the, the scenes that have scripts so that I can switch to them very easily from this scene tab section. And that's, that's the show script button configuration, right? And the always show close button makes sure that these have the close button at all times. If I have it off, you can see that I only get a close button for the screen, for the scene I have selected. So if I want to close this one, I would have to click on it and close it that way. But this makes sure that I see the close button at all times. Okay, great. Let's move on. Let's try to find settings I have here. Okay, the default project path. This is going to make sure that when you try to create a new project, Godot knows where you want that project to be created at. I have a folder called Godot inside my projects folder, which is inside the documents folder. So Godot instantly knows that I want to create this new project here. Probably. I can still change it, but just gives me a better starting position. On save, nothing here. File dialog. So if you want to see hidden files inside of your file dialog, turn this on. I usually have hidden files, so I have it on, which is useful. Import file server, nothing here. I don't think I have anything under docs. Let's move on to the text editor. Theme is fine, highlighting is fine, indent is fine, and navigation is also fine. In appearance, I have word wrap on, and this makes sure that 
I don't get lines inside my scripts that get too long that I have to scroll left and right. This just makes it so that they wrap so that I don't have to scroll, which I dislike. Okay, script list, nothing, files, tools, cursor. Okay, this is important for me. Scroll past end of file. This is gonna make sure that inside of a script, I can scroll past end of the file like this. So it makes more sense if you have a more, if you have a script that's longer. So let's try to do something like this so that we have, oops, have a longer script. So if I, if I have a script like this, normally I wouldn't be able to scroll past this line here, but with this setting on, I can scroll past up until here, which is much more useful because I don't like typing at the bottom of the screen. It's more difficult to work like that in my opinion. Let's get rid of these lines. Okay, let's go back. Completion, help, external. And inside of the editor section, I have, inside of 2D, I have constraint editor view off, which I, which makes it much more difficult in my opinion. If you, if you have it on, if you go back, you can only scroll, like see, I can't even pan here. It's basically impossible for me to pan to left, right, up, down. It's just, just get stuck. But if you have this off, you can pan as much as you want, which I find much more free. Great. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, window placement. I don't have anything set here, but if you have multiple screens, you can make it so that the game launches in a different monitor. And that is configured with this screen properly right here. And you can even pick the location of, of the game when it's launched from here, which is useful. And that's all of the settings I use in Godot that I think is useful. I had to learn these by myself going through all of these settings, but I hope that they prove useful to you. Thank you for watching and let's get to the next lecture. That's gonna be it for this video. If you learned something, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna learn more about Godot, consider checking out the full course. There's a link in the description.